Well, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I have a few really awesome updates to uh, give you. Um, they won't be filmed concurrently because a few of my plants are still in bud. The buds have not opened, but I have some exciting things to show you. So the first one is this. This is Catlia walkeriana. And isn't she just amazing? I love Catlia walkerianas. I probably have talked your ear out of, off about this one before in previous videos, but it's very fragrant and it's compact growing. It's a miniature and it's very willing to bloom even on a plant with perhaps not the best of root systems. Um, and I just wanted to give you an update on this one because it is in hydroponics and my channel kind of really advocates for that style of growing. So here's the roots. I mean, they, they don't have, a, it doesn't have as many green root tips as you would expect, but it seems like Cattleyas go through cycles where they'll make green root tips and then the rose root tips die off. But here's my roots. Plenty of roots all throughout the pot. There's a few green ones on the bottom as well. And my new pseudo bulb. Well, the newest pseudo bulb, I should say, is right here, and it's quite plump. And uh, this is the first blooming for this plant this year. Unfortunately, it didn't bloom off of uh, the last uh, actual growth like it did last year. It instead uh, seemed to stick to this uh, specialized blooming growth to make the buds instead. And uh, wow, this is. Just a wonderful Cattleya. I recommend Cattleya Walkeriana highly. And I should mention I got this particular variety from Seattle Orchid. It was in bud and bloom when I bought it. And I, I've i just been in love with this one. So keep an eye out on Seattle Orchids. Uh, sometimes they have Cattleya nobiliore, and Cattleya Walkeriana, and other wonderful Cattleyas in bud and bloom for sale. And um, I, I know me, I'm pretty lazy, so I don't know if I'm going to actually film this when the buds are fully opened, but my Lelo Cattleya Tropical Pointer Cheetah is beginning to open right this morning. And oh my goodness me, I love this Cattleya. Um, the colors on it are fantastic. It's this yellow tie-dye purple thing with dark, deep purple spots and every so while, every you know every now and then it is a little bit fragrant it has that uh, rosy kind of cattleya smell to it uh, very subdued and in fact on some bloomings I get nothing off of it at all it's kind of a wishy-washy fragrance um, if anything at all and this one's also in hydroponics she's been growing really wonderfully well just an update on the Brassico Distel Gilded Tower Mystic Maze. She's still in full bloom off of that second spike she produced this year. And she is very, very slightly fragrant this time. Of course, it smells a bit like tea. Uh, green tea and honey, to be precise. Very beautiful, and this one is frequently available. It's certainly not a rare orchid because... Uh, it's uh, very willing to bloom, so that's why it's uh, so frequently available with um, your orchid hobbyist shops. And here's a full view of the spike. It's quite long. And I've talked to you off about this one enough, so on to the next one. Here she is. Uh, Oncidopsis Nelly Eiler, still in full bloom. And the blooms are fading, which is unfortunate, but she's still extremely fragrant, and I love the scent on this one. Um, the second bloom spike is coming along. It doesn't look like it's going to be as robust as the first one, which is unfortunate. But uh, so far I do see uh, three or four buds popping out. And I have solved my thrip problem on this plant. So I actually identified the thrips live in the pot primarily so I've been spraying down the pot every time I see any kind of creepy crawler with neem oil and uh, my thrip problem has completely disappeared on the plants that I've been doing that on so I think that will be my strategies whenever I see um, the insect that I thought was um, springtails I spray and uh, when the, the, the pot was moist I saw these little worm like things and I'm almost 100% certain that's the that's the little tiny thrip things I've been seeing on my buds that's been eating them. 
So I've been spraying that, they're gone, which is good. So just goes to show you, if you got creepy crawlies, you gotta take care of your pot too. And that actually worked with mealybugs too. I, I used to only spray the top of the pot for mealybugs. And guess what? The mealybugs are in your pot too. So you need to pour neem oil into the pot or do something about that as well. So here she is again. And I think that's all the filming I have time for right now. <laughs> When I have my other buds open, we'll come back and we'll show you some more stuff. Really quick, just wanted to show you this Odoncinium Big Mama Irene, uh, the spike branched, and it's blooming for the second time this year. Smells beautiful, like old lady perfume. But here she is. Hey, look what blooms. Look what opened up for me. So this is RLC Shinshine Diamond. It used to be a pot in era, but not anymore. And holy crud. I am in love. I've been in love with this one for the longest time, but I had a horrible thrip infestation, as I said in my previous clip. Uh, I don't see signs of thrips, and I think if I had thrips, I think I'd have some bud blast. But I do have is do you see that kind of splotching on it? I think I showed you this in my other clip too, but. Uh, there's kind of splotching and I don't know why. I don't know if it's like from happy sap that's getting burned or what. But yeah, here's the back of the leaf. You can kind of kind of see that little a little splotch. Uh, the front of the flowers looks pretty good though. And there's like one... Oh, here we go. This one. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's, the camera's not picking up, but there's like kind of little, little water marks. Like little kind of water spotty lesions. Uh, for the most part, they look pretty good. And I'm really looking forward to the fragrance on this one. It smells like the spices they put in Slim Jims mixed with apricots. So my wife says it literally smells like a Slim Jim to her, but to me it smells delicious. And I'm looking forward to that scent developing. And I'm very happy this bloomed because this is, you can't beat the colors on this. Um, and I got another spike coming, so this was going to be in bloom for a while. Alright, have a good one. Well hello, one last update for y'all. My Neostylus Lucineri Bluebird has two spikes. They are both open right now. Just wanted to show it off to you. And this is the last update for the end of June and beginning of July. And this one's doing pretty well in hydroponics. Um, it looks really tacky. It looks not so great. But Arizona's air is super dry and it's hard to keep up with the waterings on this, but uh, she does have quite a lot of good roots uh, going on inside of the pot as well as into the reservoir. Uh, doing really nice. Um, again, she is fragrant and she blooms a few times a year. So this is definitely one to add to your collection. So have a good one. Bye-bye.